Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to say, according to the comments, I know there was only a few of them so far, but you guys chose the raw aluminum color. Um, at the time of me making this video anyway, there's only a few comments, so and most of them were aluminum. But um, I want to show you guys a little trick. So this is a used intake. You can see it's kind of dirty. I'm going to clean it up the best I can. I'll mask off this because that's cool. Um, and then I'm going to actually paint it with this color. It looks exactly like the raw aluminum color. I mean, it's exactly like it, but it is a silver. It's not a clear coat. But it's what that allows a guy to do is once he paints that, it that color, it's a lot easier to clean. Like this raw aluminum, you drip some gas or you drip some grease on it or whatever from your motor and it just stains and it doesn't come out unless you use like an acid cleaner for aluminum and then you're soaking the top of your motor, which is not very good. And especially if you got to use an acid cleaner, it's going to dry out your rubber seals and your carburetor. And I could go on and on and on. But this stuff, man, when you're washing underneath your hood, say you're washing with a pressure washer, you just have to brush over everything, you know, to kind of rinse it down and it cleans it right off because it puts a, such a shiny, slick surface on it compared to the raw aluminum. It's just way easier to clean and it looks just like the raw aluminum. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just have this intake sitting on here for an hour. I'm gonna bring it over where I painted my water pump. I'll mask this off and I'll mask the top of the carb, or the, the uh, carburetor surface off and then I'll get it painted up and we'll see how it turns out. But uh, as far as the rest of the motor goes, as long as I'm here, I did get cam bearings for it. I gotta do some, some digging, um, whether I wanna change cam bearings or not. So maybe someone can shed some light on this if they see this before I find out my, uh, my answer, but I don't wanna take the bottom end apart. The bottom end's fine. It had plenty of oil pressure. I don't wanna touch the bottom end. I don't need to rebuild the bottom end, anything like that. This isn't a high performance, yada, yada, yada. I'm not touching the bottom end either way. As you can see right here, See that little flake missing right right about there? Well, you might not be able to see it, but come on, focus. The rest of the cam bearings look like that too. So, so what that means is it really needs new cam bearings really bad. So I gotta determine or find out if I can change the cam bearings with the crank in now the biggest concern about that is, is there's pr plenty of room on the bottom end, but the biggest concern is the oil hole and where that's supposed to line up. Now I looked in there and according to one of my good friends, he said they could always see the oil plug lined up with the main bore or with the main bores for the main bearings when they had the crankshaft out because it had to be lined up in a specific way. Well, looking in there, I don't see, I can't see through there. I just see a groove. So I don't know if they can go in a random way, if they have to go in a special way. If anyone knows for sure, 100%, they're an engine builder and they know for sure and they can tell me that I could change these cam bearings without taking the crank out because these bearings don't have to be, the oil galley hole doesn't have to be in a special spot. It'll be really easy for me to change them. Might suck because of trying to fit it in between the crank and the stuff and stuff like that to get it in there, but I think I could change them. But um, maybe someone can shed some light on that. If not, whatever. I'll do research. I'll figure it out what the, what the right thing to do is on that. I've never come across anything like this. My LS truck, those cam bearings were fine. I never had to touch them. Now, uh, this motor here, same issue. Cam bearings are bad, but I don't want to touch the bottom end because it's spectacular shape. When I had it flipped upside down, it was in really nice shape. So I got to figure something out with this motor and then apply it to this motor. So... If you know for sure, 100%, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I got to do. But the cam did come in. It's a Mellon cam. Um, it's a 447 lift intake, 447 lift exhaust. I got the lifters here in my little tub. I got to get them out and soak them in oil. But first, before I do that, we're going to bring this intake over by my little paint station, if you want to call it that. And we'll get the paint in that. Um, then I'll get these oil or these lifters soaked in oil and... Uh, in the meantime, I'll be doing some research while I'm waiting for stuff to dry on these cam bearings and doing some more digging. And if I come across anything else that needs to be done, I'll let you guys know. Oh, one other thing. I did get the gasket stuff in, so that's good to go. Now I'm just waiting on my oil pump. So hopefully that comes in soon enough. And once the intake is done, I have to switch over 
my vacuum hose for the transmission. I got to switch over my nipples. I got to find a plug for some of these. Got to put the thermostat on, stuff like that. So I got some stuff to do, but enough chit chatting. I'm going to get to it and we'll get some stuff figured out here. Right, guys so it's kind of a little wet yet but you can see it didn't change the color of the intake at all it just makes it look a little bit better um, I also painted the pulleys this what you would call probably matte black color along with the um, fuel pump bolts the diamond cover bolts the oil pan bolts um, they're all this high heat grill paint works really good that's also what I painted the inner frame with i painted the motor mounts and i painted the power steering bracket which you can see here painted the motor mounts power steering bracket um and then the inner frame that paint's really nice but uh i know it's been kind of a short video i think that's gonna wrap it up today though i gotta do some research on them um, cam bearings what i'm gonna do on that i gotta look at them a little bit better they might not be that bad i don't know yet um if i happen to leave them in there i'm just gonna leave a warning now because i'll say it in the, the video i addressed it in and i'll say it in this video so it gets put in people's head um if i do happen to leave those bearings in there i suggest not doing any of that stuff on your own i do not recommend it this is a motor for me. I'm taking a chance, yada, 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 if I leave them in there. Um, I just don't want to have to pull the whole bottom end of the engine out. It's a fine running motor. It just needs a camshaft, and it just so happens that the motor's old, so it needs cam bearings. But it had plenty of pressure, so I'm hoping a high-volume, high-pressure oil pump helps the motor out a lot. Um, and maybe it'll soothe over some not so good cam bearings but that's my own chance i'm taking if i decide to go that route if i could find out that you can do cam bearings um with the crank still installed and i don't have to uh worry about where these oil galley holes are placed i'll definitely do cam bearings it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt but i'll do them i'm more than happy to take that that uh pain in the butt and frustration to do them with the crank in than having to take a motor apart or replace this motor or just scrap this truck because i really don't want to scrap this truck and i don't mean scrap it scrap it like get it crushed um we were kind of looking at this as another parts truck so by that i mean sit out back and use parts off of it but it was pretty nice so i wanted to drive it um and i think it'll get better fuel mileage than that one will in the winter time when the roads are plowed and there's no no uh salt on the roads like say Everything's plowed. It hasn't snowed in a while. The roads are dry, but it's still winter time, obviously, and there's still salt dust on the road. 
I'd rather drive this one than that thing um, 30 minutes to college because that would suck the fuel. So, uh, And if this motor turns out okay and something happens to the truck, I got a motor. Um, same issue with that motor. That motor's got uh, bad cam bearings too. So maybe that one I'll, I'll take all the way down. Maybe I'll do a rebuild on that one. I don't know yet. Um, I just want to get this thing going so I can get this thing back on the road, finish the exhaust, and just finish it and drive it it is a nice truck i like driving it it's a three-quarter ton i can pull some stuff with it if i have to if i gotta pull the ls truck to wir for some reason or i want to go down there or anything you know so i guess that's going to conclude my video as usual like and subscribe leave a comment with any suggestions anything else you want to see you want me to touch on if you know anything about uh these cam bearings for sure i don't want any false information i'll back i'll back up your uh thesis if uh you say i can run it like that or if you if you say i can put the bearings in any which way i'll look and dig and see if that's true um other than that like comment subscribe we got more plenty more going on here uh, a lot to do with that a lot to do with this there's all kinds of stuff going on there will never be a lack of content so thanks for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in the next one.